Good morning, my good people of Ondo State. What a black Wednesday. We lost our governor. May God forgive him all his sins. And may God accept him on his right side. Folks, there is nothing that kills a man than having a bad wife. Having a bad wife. You may not know, but I've been following all the events. Akredolu did not enjoy his last days on earth, despite all the wealth. And that is, and this is a big lesson to we that he has left behind here. To we that it's not that money cannot buy you happiness. Money cannot buy debt. Money cannot see, cannot cure sickness except God Almighty. And this happens if you have a good wife by you. A wife that can intercede on your behalf, either a Muslim or a Christian. When Ondo State were busy praying for Akredolu, the wife said she doesn't believe in prayers. And today, we are away. And that is the fight I've been fighting for the past seven years that Akredolu carried our state and gave it to his family. But thank God today it has come to an end. It has come to an end. But it's a big lesson to all of us. It's a big lesson even to Betty herself. That she's acquiring the whole of everything in this earth. She's acquiring everything on this earth. Having the, the, the biggest fish pond in Nigeria. Building the biggest hospital in her village. Turning her village into a mecca. Having choice properties across Nigeria. In Ore, in Ibado, in Lagos, building hotels, buying houses. They bought all the streets in, in Ibado. They bought almost all the houses in in, in, a, in in a war. Where are we carrying all this to? Nowhere. Today, Akredolu is gone. Money cannot save him. I told you, bad wife. When Akredolu came back from Germany, Betty purposely bought him because of the economic looting in Ondo State. He brought him, he brought Akredolu just as a, as a decoy for him to steal from Ondo State and he stole heavily. And he abandoned Akredolu in Ibadan. The three caregivers given to Akredolu, do you know that they were not even paid their salaries? Two of them left. That was the reason why they took Akredolu to Lagos to go and stay with the brother. I can tell you that Akredolu family are not happy with Betty at all. When, when Akredu was with the brother in Lagos, when things start getting worse, that was when they were planning to take him out of the country for the second time to Germany. I was aware until Ashiwaju was able to give them an ambulance. When they beckoned at the same wife that Akredu brought to limb light through the office of the First Lady of Ondo State, she declined going. She didn't go. It was his daughter, Rusewe, Mrs. Rusewe, the daughter of uh, Akedulu that followed them to Germany. She didn't go. She stayed behind. She came back to Ondo State. She's trying to steal rake money. It's just all about money, money. She abandoned the husband. I'm sure Akedulu, when she went on his way to Germany, he will regret it. That, oh my God, so this woman is not there with me. No matter how bad the Yoruba, Yoruba, woman, Yoruba woman is, I, I don't, I'm not trying here, I'm just telling you the reality. A Yoruba wife will not abandon the, the husband at that, at that critical hour. How would that be so, good, so nice that we had that Akerulu died in Germany in the hands of Betty? But Betty was in Akure. Was in the of Korea, gallivanting, supervising how to how to steal money, supervising how to build the hospital, supervising how to uh, his fish uh, her fish pond. When when she had that, Akriti is gone. This is a big lesson. May our children not marry from the wrong tribe and from the wrong family. This is a big lesson to all of us. And I will say again, congratulations to those two people. Not Konarino that Akiti died though, because we all died. I'm not happy that he died. No. But congratulations that way, that the, the, that the bondage 
that Betty, Tyros, and the and the song is broken. The shackle is broken. They don't care. The son was was wasn't was was clubbing in Lagos, clubbing in Abuja. Doesn't care the father was this. The mother too was everywhere, holding meetings up and down, still still responding on social media when your husband is in critical condition. May the soul of Akilulu rest in peace. And I think all our people, you know more than me about this woman. But I am employing this. I'm not. I'm saying this. Akiru is gone. He's going. He has gone to rest. 